I had to forgive her. I even forgave my mom. I forgave my mom for leaving me home alone. You know what I'm saying? She never left me home alone. Maybe this would have happened to me. I don't know. But I can't say anything because I was in the past. You know what I'm saying? How old were you? I was two. Hence the name Deuce. My twin brother and I are both two. Um, my mom had four children. Two of them are alive and two of them are dead. So the number two comes really strong into my life. <coughs> So you're a, a very big Michael Jackson fan. Yeah, I met him when I was five years old. So yeah, it's, it's uh, he's just an inspiration. Like, I look at what he went through. I was a little kid, and look what he just look what he did. I mean, look, I mean, he did things that you can't imagine, and he all did it by by the whole belief of love. Everything he did, we did it for L O V E love. That's how he always said it. You know? And go. <laughs> It just amazed me how happy you were seen. It drives me crazy. How can this be? For you I give and grant you everything. And come on, baby, tell me what you need. I'm not supposed to be loved by you, touched by you, cared by you, even though I'm there for you. Who who is the person who did this to you? My step grandfather. And do you know why he did that to you? I do know why. Uh, it's because uh, he was seeing someone in the family that didn't want to see him anymore, so out of spite, he set us on fire. How many operations have you had since you were two? Um, well, I was in a coma for six months, and I was in the hospital for a year and a half of the fire, so I really don't remember the first year and a half of being burned. But from the age of like four to like nine, I had like 67 operations. Been, I've been, I've had a lot of surgeries, a lot of skin grafts. I've even woken up during some of them, which is a very dangerous thing to do. You can go in shock. <laughs> I've had that happen like three times, so it was cool. It wasn't cool at the time, but it was cool to say now, because I'm like, yeah, I'm a survivor, dude, yeah. What's your philosophy for life? What, 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 what advice do you give people? You can get through anything. You just got to tell yourself you can do it. I mean, there, there definitely is time where you just want to just end it and stop putting up with it and say this is all bullshit but seriously this is real man like life is what you make of it whatever you go through you gotta figure out how you're gonna deal with it how you're gonna take it how you're gonna go out in the world and let people understand or you're gonna be sheltered and be afraid every day i think of you i share my world and give you truth in return you turn your hearts and leave mine Black and blue, not possibly loved by you, touched by you, cared by you, even though I'm there for you. Have you ever been in love? No. I mean, I've, have I ever, I mean, let me, have I ever been in love? Let me rephrase the question. Have you ever been in love and had the love reciprocated back? That, I can say no. Have I ever been in love with somebody that's never reciprocated love back? Three times. And they always see a third one's a charm, then it's a little crock shit. <laughs> I treat you perfect. I don't deserve this. Why you violent vain? With your self inflicting pain. I'm not gonna take these pity games. It's not worth it. Now I'm possibly loved by you. Touched by you. Can't buy you. Even though I'm there for you. Now I'm possibly loved by you. Touched by you. Can't buy you. Even though I'm there for you. Every day, I think of you. I share my world and give you truth. In return, you turn on and leave mine. Black and blue, not possibly loved by you, touched by you, cared by you, even though I'm there for you. Not possible. I love Hollywood Boulevard, but it really pains me when I see bums. Because when I see a bum, I'm thinking, damn, dude. I mean, I'm burnt. This is when I get cocky. I won't lie, I get cocky. I see Bama get cocky because it's like, why are you doing that? And why am I doing this? When I know for a fact you have more of a chance of doing what I can, what I can do in a way. Right now I have a story to tell and I have a triumph to a, tra a tragedy to a triumph that is beautiful. But some people don't see it like that. Some people just see it like, well, what are you doing here? You know what I'm saying? Have you seen the looks I got? Wow. You know, 
It's like you gave up. And you can't give up. Because once you give up, then what's, what, what are you doing? But I think, honestly, I, I think, um, I think, honestly, uh, being, uh, being single is really getting to me. I wouldn't, like, say, like, on a love relationship because, I mean, you got to really, 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 really try hard to be in love. You're not try hard, but you really got to, like, really be ready for it. You know what I'm saying? But having someone I can just hold up to, talk to, chill with, do things with. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing all these great things, but I'm doing it all by myself. All my friends and family are 3,000 miles away from me. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm experiencing some great ass experiences, but I ain't, ain't to share it with nobody. If I can't share it with nobody, it kind of takes away the, the oomph of it all. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you can't come to Hollywood and take over. It's like, you know, it's bull. To me, I, I'm, I'm happy I'm bull. I won't lie, it definitely gets to me a lot of times, you know what I'm saying? Because people have emotional scars, they have physical scars, but I, don't, I have both. And people say, you gotta put your past behind you. Well, I can put my past behind me because every single time I look in the mirror, I see, you know, scars. But, you know, I don't really see scars, you know what I'm saying? But I know other people do see scars. So I know when I'm in a club and the girl's not checking me up because I got scars, I understand that. But when I break it down the dance floor, then she loves me. So that's all good. It's a win-win situation. I truly believe God is the reason why I'm alive. And I know God takes care of me. Man. I know he's taking care of me while I'm in the predicament I'm in right now. So, I mean, that's why I don't worry. And that's why, going back to what makes you, what makes me sad uh, when I look at people on the streets is they lost faith. Faith is the number one thing to get through life. It doesn't matter who you believe in. As long as you have faith in something, in a higher power, it doesn't matter what you call it, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. That's my belief. Well said.